if you say no to Jesus who died in the cross of Calvary, it feels like your entire Quran is a lie. And that can be, because Muslims won't accept that, and that's true. That can be. So, um, for you can't say Jesus did not die in the cross of Calvary in the Bible, that it was an imposter who died. That can be because it feels like the entire Bible is a lie. What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. If you are new yet, my name is Divine. I'm a musical five, Minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend your favorite singers for us to react to. Hey, you can't, you can't, you can't. Are you freaking me? What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here with a new video, guys. Um, my Muslim friends, hope you guys are excited. Um, I said I'm going to be reacting to Muslim videos at least two, three times a week. Um, I'm going to try my best to check it out, irrespective of my religion being a Christian. But I just want to know more about you guys. It's it's something like it's a drive. It's something like it's always in my heart. I always want to know. Check out this video. Ten differences between Jesus in Islam and Christianity. <clears throat> this is going to be my first time checking this out and I want to give this a try with you guys. You know how it is guys, we talk to us right now, we ask more. Let's get into this video. Jesus is acknowledged in both Christianity and Islam and is inseparable from the core beliefs of each religion. Yet despite so many similarities and common grounds, there are several differences that are distinct to both Islam and Christianity. Welcome back to another episode of FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and I'm exploring 10 differences of Jesus in the religions of Islam and Christianity. So let's just jump right into it. Starting at number 10. In Islamic text, you won't find Jesus ever being referred to as the son of God because it is believe that God has no children and a lot of the differences related to this is how the term son of God is actually used so check this the Christian view is that Jesus is only God's son in the spiritual sense not in a physical sense and that the term son of God is actually a title one example of this that I found is like if you call someone the son of the Nile it means that that person is from Egypt so to say that Jesus is the son of God means that Jesus is from God. Next up at number nine, one of the biggest points of debate between Muslims and Christians is whether Jesus is also God or not. Muslims are clear in the belief that Jesus is not God himself because Jesus was a human. Christians believe that God took on the form of a burning bush when revealing himself to Moses, so it's not impossible for God to take on the form of a human in order to reveal himself to humans, just in a different way though. Another difference is that in the Quran, it shares the story of how Jesus spoke in the cradle as a baby, and it goes, Then she, Mary, pointed to him, and they said, How can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? He, Jesus, said, Verily, I am a slave of God. God, he has given me the scriptures and made me a prophet. And that's found in the Quran, Surah 19, verses 29 to 30. Now, in Christianity, there's no such story as baby Jesus talking or anything like that. But it's not expressly denied. It could happen. Like it's. This is actually my first time hearing um, such baby Jesus talking. I've never heard that before in my life. This is my first time hearing it. It's possible that it happened in the view of Christianity. Exactly. In the Bible, though, the first time Jesus is recorded to have spoken is when he's 12 years old. Muslims view the miracle of Jesus speaking as a baby as a sign that he is a special prophet from God, but it is not listed as one of the miracles of Jesus in the religion of Christianity. Okay, so moving on to number seven, let's take a look at the times that Jesus is mentioned. So Jesus called Isa in Arabic is one of the most mentioned people in the entire Quran. He's mentioned 25 times by the name Isa and he's also mentioned in the third person 48 times and also in the first person 35 times. There's other mentions of Jesus but titles and attributes like the son of Mary or the word of God are used. Now over in Christianity in the King James version of the Bible the name Jesus appears 937 times. However that doesn't include other places is where he's mentioned but not directly by name. So depending on the translation, the word Jesus appears between 900 to 1300 times and references to Jesus like using the term Christ or Lord appear several hundred times and also some of these words may be translated as 
Jesus. So it really just depends on the type of translation of the Bible that you use. Okay, so let's take a look at the differences with the crucifixion. Muslims do not believe that Jesus was crucified. Islamic tradition explains that Jesus was actually... This is a very important type, like topic itself, crucifixions. This is when Muslim and G um, Christian always debate a lot. Also, aside Jesus being God, this part itself, Muslim do not believe Jesus died. But Christian believe Jesus died and shed his, his blood for humanity. So I want to hear his own opinion about this, um, the differences, how he sees it. But this is the biggest controversy within Christian and Muslims. We we'll always debate about this. Spirit from being put to death. In the Quran, Surah 4, verse 157 to 159, it says, And for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah, and they did not kill him. Nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who defer over it are in doubt. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. So the central theme in Christianity, on the other hand, is that Jesus indeed did. Nice. This is my first time saying um, it's written in Quran. Hmm. Now I know why you guys um, refuse to believe it. Now I'm getting you guys' point of view. Um, I'm kind of understanding it. I'm kind of understanding it now. Uh, it's, the way it's written there, um, if I was to be a Muslim, I wouldn't believe it. Like, the way it's written there, um, another one was came to replace him as Jesus. This was not the real Jesus that died on the cross of uh, hmm. The way it's written there, to be sincere, if I was a Muslim, I wouldn't believe it. But Mary was there when Jesus died, and she cried. So, uh, the story itself in the Bible, differs from what is really written here and uh, it's more real for me like it feels and um, it's the experience can't be another person like another person to act like jesus because when he died say father forgive them for they know not what they are doing when he died and final death when he died an earthquake happened so that cannot be a normal man that died. You see, the, the incidents that happened when Jesus was crucified it can't be a normal man. You can understand? So it's kind of like unbelievable that someone can act like Jesus or have the bearing or look like and come and die and Jesus himself did not die. It's kind of like unbelievable for Christians because the, the incidents that happened on the crucifixion can't be a normal man. That is it. Because um, there was a thief at Jesus' side that said, um, he was acting like um, apologizing, kind of like feeling sad for what he has done, that Jesus did not deserve to be here, that Jesus was not a thief. Like, then they said, they know they are thief. But he himself feel like Jesus was not, does not deserve to be there. Then Jesus was like, in my father's house, that he is going to have a place. So it, that cannot be a normal man who is saying such things. So it's kind of like impossible to believe that someone is take the the place of Jesus Christ in the Christian aspect, but in the Muslim aspect, how it was written there, anyone who is a Muslim will go according to what is being written there because it's it states there clearly that it was another man who took the place of Jesus. So according to Muslim, but in Christian, as a Christian. I believe Jesus died in the cross of Calvary because the man who died in the cross of Calvary can't be a normal man. That man is Jesus Christ. Because the incidents, the, the scenario, what happened during his death and crucifixion can't be a normal mere man. It's kind of like impossible. His words that were spoken out can be a normal mere man. So let's keep on watching and see what more he has to offer die through crucifixion. In the four Gospels of the Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all go into great detail about Jesus dying on a cross. Halfway into number five, Muslims believe that Jesus was a prophet who was given a special message, the Injil or the Gospel, to convey to all the people. And this message confirmed what was taught in the Torah and also foretold of the coming prophet Muhammad. Now in Christianity, Jesus also shares a Gospel that is intended to be 
spread to the entire world. And the difference though is that in Christianity, the one who Jesus foretells is coming after him is the Holy Spirit, who is believed to also be God, not the prophet Muhammad. All right, let's talk about the miracles now. While Muslims accept that Jesus was a servant of God, as well as a teacher, they do not believe that he was actually divine. The Quran describes the miracles of Jesus, such as healing the sick and raising the dead, but it does not describe these miracles to him being divine. Instead, Jesus is said to be a sign to all mankind of God's endless mercy. Christianity, on the other hand, ascribes his miracles to him being divine, as well as an example of what people can accomplish if they have total faith in God. In the book of John 14 verses 12, it says, Very truly I say to you, so whoever to you, believes whoever in me in will me. do the works that yeah. I have been doing, yeah. and they will do even greater things than these, because yeah. I am going to the Father. And those are the words of Jesus, according to the Bible. Now, number three, Muslims do not believe in original sin. And if you don't know, original sin, by the way, is a Christian belief that is believed that the nature to sin actually stems from Adam and Eve disobeying God at the beginning. So now everyone born as a default has like this nature to disobey God. But Muslims don't actually share that view, so they don't see the need for a savior in the same way that Christians do. Christianity teaches that Jesus came in the form of a human so that he could allow all humans to take on his divine nature, which is the only hope to be saved. The book of 2 Peter 1 verses 4 says, And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious <coughs> promises. These are the promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. Now the Muslim view is that as long as any one accepts God and professes Muhammad as his messenger and strives to submit their will to God, that's all that's needed to be saved. Okay, so number two, we have the belief in the return of Jesus in these two religions. These are also completely different. According to the popular Islamic belief, in the end times, Jesus will return and proclaim Islam to be the true religion, and all Christians will just convert. All other religions will no longer exist and Jesus will be the sole ruler of the world and the reign of Jesus will last 40 years. He will also join forces with the Mahdi who is the redeemer in Islam to defeat the Dajjal or the Antichrist. And the most common Christian belief about this though is that when Jesus returns in the end times, everyone will see him. It's going to be loud. All the angels in heaven are going to come back with him yeah. and everyone that passed away that was deemed righteous will actually resurrect. resurrect at that moment and everyone that's alive deemed righteous will join those who resurrected and be caught up in the sky and everybody goes to heaven so yeah two completely different views right there and finally number one this probably you'll hear this question asked a lot in debates between muslims and christians about jesus is that did jesus say that he was god well, the belief in Christianity is that he in fact did say that. Jesus says things like, before Abraham was, I am, yeah. and that I and the Father are one, and that if you see me, you've seen the Father. So those are all statements that you find in the Bible. Now the Muslim belief is that these statements still do not clearly have Jesus saying that he is God. So the debate still continues. All right guys, so those were 10 differences of Jesus in the religions of Islam. Yeah. Guys, the differences, it's clear. Uh, the debates will keep on going on because uh, some things we, we do not agree about, mostly when it comes to Jesus Christ himself. Christians do not believe um, what Muslims believe, Muslims don't believe what Christians believe. Um, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, we are all waiting for the judgment day, so we all know who is right or who is wrong, but that does not mean, for me, I feel like a just life is when you're living righteously and you're not um, put, having sin or fornicating or killing people or stuff, different kind of like things that you know it's not right, humanly, you know it is not right. Um, for me, we should just live justfully. The debate will keep on going. Um, this guy made at least 10, 10 differences and 10 of them, there are some weak question. Kind of them, the differences is clear. That's what um, Christian and Muslim debate about mostly. And I now see the aspect of Muslim aspect, Muslim side of view. You, when you when they said um, Jesus did not die in the cross of Calvary, I've heard you guys saying uh, it's not true. It's not Jesus that died. Not, but um, I've not heard you guys talk more or show me proof in Quran. But today I, I saw the Quran proof that it was someone else who died in the place of Jesus Christ. But 
my faith, my religion says it clearly. And the miracles that happen in the day of Jesus' death and the experience, the, this what encountered in the place of Jesus' death can't be a normal man, can't be an imposter act like Jesus Christ. It's impossible to be. So that, this debate will keep on going. And what I believe, I believe Jesus is the Son of God. And he died in the cross of Calvary. So for me, the debate will keep on going. And being a Christian, no, I said, being a Christian, I believe that because that's what my Bible says. And that's what I believe myself. It's really amazing watching this video. And I'm very glad I saw you guys point of view a lot in this video when it was written in the Quran. Um, I said that before, if I'm to be a Muslim, I will still believe in the Muslim aspect because it is written there that the person who died was not Jesus Christ. I'm not saying you guys should believe or not believe, but being a Christian myself, I believe Jesus died on cross of But the test itself that was written there, I don't know who come about such um test that Jesus it was an imposter who died in the place of Jesus Christ. Um, you guys can't take that part out because if you say no, it was Jesus who died in the cross of Calvary, it feels like your entire Quran is a lie. And that can be because Muslims would accept that, and that's true. That can be. So, um, for you can't say Jesus did not die in the cross of Calvary in the Bible, that it was an imposter who died. That can be because it feels like the entire Bible is a lie. So, it's you see, and it's kind of like <laughs> there's no way you can take this out and to please the other or take this other one to please the other. So we just keep living, and as long as we don't have grudges or hatred for each other, we love each other, we abide to the word as we read in the Quran and also in the Bible. Well, peace will reign and we'll live happily. Uh, until judgment time. <laughs> Let's see judgment time. This was an amazing video and I enjoyed myself watching it. Trails. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this with as many as can. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all